Okay, Nick Houston from Gotham Sound here with Yannick from Ambient. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And uh, thank you for this wonderful booth. It's one of my favorites, as I said, because I get to sit. Um, a pleasure. My and pleasure. I wore long <laughs> shoes today. <laughs> so you have a couple of cool things here. Um, tell us what you got. Well, um, most of the audience probably knows um, our Lockheed timecode family. I mean, it's in the market for like 25 years, rock solid timecode. Uh, wirelessly synced via ACN and easily set up by the press of a button. But we came out with a new um, feature, mm -hmm. um, actually heading at a little different target group. It's um, the logging feature. Mm. Uh, it's uh, already available. The latest firmware, you can download it from Ambient DE, makes this device being additionally used as a logger. It's not a new product. It's the same nano locket, as, mm -hmm. as you all know. But you can now use it as a logger. So it's really like that, that um, the director or script supervisor has this device in the hand and says, okay, green button, I like the take, or red button, ah, it was, was bad, bad mm -hmm. acting or, mm -hmm. or whatever. And so this device stores the metadata of good and bad uh, frame accurately, time code accurate. And now the beauty of it is that you can import this information to the editing. Mm -hmm. So I can quickly show that. This uh, would be now um, Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. We have our raw material our clips over there, and you would um, just import the markers here. They are, you have to connect it, of course, first to USB, mm -hmm. via USB to your computer. You import a file that is called nanolocket.markers in this case, and now you will see that it's processing, and these things just turned red and green. Mm -hmm. So um, the editor directly knows which takes or which clips the director said it was good or was bad. And not only that you have it for a whole clip, but also inside the clip, you have really markers, um, so for longer interview takes or whatever, mm -hmm. where you really have like three hours running or just we, we two talking mm -hmm. and you say, okay, this was a good sentence from Yannick and this was a bad <laughs> one for <laughs> editing later. Uh -huh. um, um, so you can really save a lot of time in post-production. So can you have, uh, in those longer clips, can you have multiple markers? So exactly. Like good, bad, as, as, you as, as you see it here, mm -hmm. you can have multiple markers. It's all, all, all displayed mm. within the editing tool. Mm -hmm. And we created a native panel for Premiere Pro to import that. So mm -hmm. that's the only NLE, the only editing tool that we are supporting as of now because it's just out for sure. uh, this year. But um, we are also planning to support other uh, editing tools like Avid, DaVinci, Final Cut. Okay. Yeah. So this is, does the Nano Locket need a particular firmware or? Um, yeah, it's, it's the latest firmware, the 630. Okay. Uh, it's mm -hmm. already available. It's out there and mm -hmm. um, yeah. But then th that, that's all you need. Uh, okay. The, um, the Locket uh, lock panel is available on the Adobe Extension Store, can mm -hmm. be downloaded for free. Mm -hmm. So actually, um, the people who already own a Nano Locket, they get this upgrade mm -hmm. for free. So you can also use it for different purposes as well. So if you happen to have one Nano Locket left, maybe, for, mm -hmm. your, for your next shoot, you can hand it over to the director and say, hey, try it out. Uh -huh. uh, so it, it's kind thing. of like taking script supervision and yeah. just putting it in the hands exactly. of good, bad, you know. I however. mean, and we all know directors, they like to have the power of yeah. saying good and bad. And yeah. it's a good feeling for them to know, ah, the editor really looks at the, at the spots and pieces mm -hmm. that I personally liked on mm. the set. Mm -hmm. So we really hope that uh, this opens uh, a whole new target group for the Nano Locket mm -hmm. as well. And, and yeah, maybe, um, uh, yeah, try it out. It's available, it's out there. You can okay. use it. Great, uh, yeah. and so this then, so let's, what's going on here? This, this, is, is, our, this is our little mantis, as we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as we call okay. it. No, it's, it's the, the long-awaited Locket Plus. It's the successor, basically, of uh, our master Locket that has been uh, discontinued, um, um, if, if you know that. Um, it is the successor of the master Locket, but it has additional features. Mm. So it, um, what it has, it, it has its integrated Wi-Fi. It spans it, it, uh, its own Wi-Fi network, and you can hook on it uh, via a tablet mm. or a computer. Mm -hmm. And um, as it was before, you have a kind of an overview of your whole ACN Locket setup. You can set up things like user bits or offset and all that stuff. You have your ACN overview of battery life and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, but what's really what's new and um, a cool feature is that we added the option 
to, if you plug in this little antenna, to have an RF scan mm -hmm. right out of this box. Mm -hmm. So you can have your setup of um, uh, transmitters and receivers and do a full um, frequency scan, set up the threshold, it uh, has intermodulation, so it's a really highly accurate scan and it suggests frequencies where you can put your transmitters and receivers. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a new added value for this uh, Locket Plus. Um, the we built it uh, modular, so mm -hmm. the, uh, the Locket Plus has different tails. Mm. So this would be what we call the, the Tone Meister tail. So this is, can be used out of the bag or the sound card, externally uh, uh, charged if, if wanted, and also with the option to have uh, this antenna for mm -hmm. the frequency scan. But there are uh, other tails as well. Uh, this would be... Um, a super slot tail that you can plug in a, a slot in receiver. Mm -hmm. um, here you can see the interior life. It's uh, powered by NP batteries. Oh. Uh, are those NP50 batteries? Or no, what are those? Not NP50, it's NP BX1 if you uh -huh. want to have it okay. closely. But you can charge it externally yeah. and one by one so it doesn't lose power mm -hmm. in that case. And there is um, a third tail called the camera tail, which is not yet ready, mm -hmm. but um, this. Um, uh, grabs the the metadata from from the camera and of al also from uh, uh, smart lenses like mm. the Cook mm -hmm. lenses with their slash eye protocol. This is um, a feature uh, often used in VFX production. I so uh, they need this really frame accurate lens metadata mm -hmm. to do their uh, VFX post with green screen shots and stuff like that. Mm. So yeah, that'll be the target group. Um, for that one. And yet, yeah, people have been waiting for it along. We have a, a list of <laughs> pre orders, mm -hmm. but we are already assembling them now, so this summer they will be finally shipped. So, this, uh, uh, the wait has going to be uh, an end. Got it. Okay, yeah. so this summer, meaning like yeah. July, August. Like, like July, more Great. July. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And do you have a is there pricing for that yet, or that's to be announced? The, it's to, to be announced, but it'll, it'll land around 1,700. Uh, mm -hmm. Euro, I don't know, uh, 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 we have to so 14, transfer 14 it. 14 million dollars. Exactly, yeah. 14 million dollars by perfect. then. The inflation is uh, killing us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let me open it up to questions. Sure. Joey, do we have any questions for uh, Yannick from Ambient? <coughs> no further questions at the moment. Okay, no all questions right. right now. Thank you so much. Anything else we should know about what you know, where Ambient's thinking about going in the future, and what your you know, integration is doing? Because you guys don't just do time code; you do. There's so many other products. A absolutely. I mean, we have um, uh, launched our new QuickPoll Five series. Mm -hmm. You probably have seen it over at the uh, booth of Reading oh, yeah. Audio. Mm -hmm. um, but we are um, focusing actually on uh, on the one side having this logging feature being mm -hmm. compatible with more. Uh, tools uh -huh. at, at, at the end and also uh, yeah making the, the camera tail of the locket plus being ready to support the the VFX got it and that and that will work with any camera that has that kind of support so yeah this, red this and would Ari be Ari and, and red as, uh -huh. it, as it was before no other camera manufacturers to date but yeah that's still <laughs> got it work in okay progress. all right fantastic well Yannick thank you so much for taking you, the time Nick. and thank you for showing us this this was a big surprise for us uh, showing up here Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, so as always, you can watch this video and more on GothamSound.tv. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, and if you have any questions uh, or want anything else, uh, email us at info at GothamSound.com. And stay tuned for more from NAB 2022.